This is just about the perfect Mercedes for me. I'm Chris from Auto Academics, and today we're gonna take a look at a 2021 Mercedes AMG E63S sedan. I say just about because there's one detail that Mercedes offers that I prefer more, but I'll get to that in a bit. Meeting pretty much all of my needs is this graphite gray metallic Mercedes AMG E63S. Standard features include AMG Performance 4Matic Plus all-wheel drive, AMG Sport suspension based on air body control, rear spoiler, LED daytime running lamps and taillights, AMG Electronic Limited Slip Differential, Power Folding Outside Mirrors with Turn Indicators, AMG Illuminated Door Sills, and AMG Performance Exhaust System. Comfort and convenience features include the AMG Performance Steering Wheel and Napa Leather and Dynamica, Dual Zone Automatic Climate Control, 12.3 inch widescreen digital instrument cluster, 12.3 inch touchscreen display, touchpad with central controller, Mercedes Me Connect services, Mercedes Benz user experience, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, voice control, what can I do for you? Inductive wireless charging, Sirius XM radio all access, silver seat belts, Wi-Fi connectivity, near field communication, power heated and ventilated front seats with lumbar support and memory, floor mats with AMG lettering, heated armrests, split folding rear seats, AMG drive unit, AMG dynamic select, seat belt adjustment, sunshades on the rear doors and back window, tons of massage functions, AMG track pace, multicolor ambient lighting, dynamic seats, and keyless go with keyless start. Safety and security features include attention assist, blind spot assist, surround view system, and parking assist Parktronic. Thanks to the chip shortage, you'll save $350 on this car while losing the heated steering wheel and hands-free trunk access. But there are still plenty of other options, including the 20-inch AMG twin five-spoke wheels with black accents wrapped in a staggered 265-35 series front and 295-30 series rear Pirelli P0 high-performance summer tires, air balance cabin air fragrancing and ionization package, panorama sunroof, active multi-contour front seats with massage, head-up display, augmented video for navigation, black Dynamica headliner, and Burmester high-end surround sound system. The AMG carbon ceramic braking system adds nine grand, and then there's the driver's assistance package that includes active distance distronic, active steering assist, active lane change assist, active emergency stop assist, active speed limit assist, evasive steering assist, Active Lane Keeping Assist, Active Blind Spot Assist, Pre-Safe Plus Rear and Collision Protection, Pre-Safe Impulse Side, Route Based Speed Adaptation, and Active Brake Assist with Cross Traffic Function. The Exterior Lighting Package adds the LED Intelligent Light System, an Adaptive High Beam Assist. The AMG Night Package provides high gloss black elements on the front splitter, exterior mirror covers, fender inserts, side sill inserts, window trim, rear diffuser insert, and black chrome tailpipe trim. And last but not least, the acoustic comfort package adds increased cabin insulation on the windshield and side windows with acoustic and heat absorbing membrane. After nearly $30,000 worth of add-ons, you get a total MSRP of $134,440. One thing I like about this E63S is its menacing look. Check out the twin power dome hood, large air intakes, and wider stance. <laughs> In fact, this E63S is 1.1 inches wider than your auntie's E-Class. That additional width is to house the larger wheels, as well as these humongous carbon ceramic brakes. 
The front rotors are 15.8 inches with six piston fixed calipers, and the rears are 14.2 inches with a single piston floating brake caliper. The trunk holds a slightly smallish 13.1 cubic feet, but the rear seats do fold down, providing a little more capacity. The true gem of this AMG is its 4-liter bi-turbo V8 engine, handcrafted by Joaquin, that makes a monstrous 603 horsepower and pavement shredding 627 pound-feet of torque. An AMG Speed Shift multi-clutch 9-speed automatic transmission handles the gears, sending power to the rear biased all-wheel drive. AMG Dynamic Select with race mode is present, allowing for a 0-60 to 60 time of 3.3 seconds. Top speed is electronically limited to 186 miles per hour. With the help of cylinder deactivation, estimated fuel economy is rated at 16 miles per gallon city, 23 miles per gallon highway, with a combined rating of 18 miles per gallon. Auto Academics saw a lesser than combined average of 16.3 miles per gallon during testing on premium fuel. As you guys may know, I have a wife and kids, so space for them is important, and this car accommodates. The contoured seats provide a bit of lateral support, and the seat backs are reclined for comfort. Plus, this panorama sunroof allows for a nice view, even with this present speaker mounted in the middle. Some USB charge ports would be nice, but at least there's a 12 volt outlet, AC vents, and cup holders in the armrest. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I love the interiors in Mercedes high-end cars, and this one is a good example. The piano black, silver, leather, and carbon fiber work well together, and these seats are fantastic. The steering wheel is too, although the Dynamica will wear rather quickly due to the oils on your hands. You could wear gloves like I do when sim racing, but <laughs> who's gonna do that in real life? I do like the updated control dials. They're brighter with new graphics and this Burmester stereo is still among the best. The bass is exceptionally deep and clean and the treble is bright. Plus, the mid-range is solid. Finish things off with one of the best infotainment systems on the market and you understand half of why I like this car. Now you find out the other half. $9,000 is a lot of money for some brakes. And while I probably wouldn't drive my car that hard if I owned one of these to warrant such a purchase, they work really well. They're progressive, firm, and very strong. And having experienced them on a track, I can attest to their performance. But that is only one part of this machine called AMG. While the suspension is firmer than a standard E-Class, it's not as excessive as some of BMW's M cars. And whereas the Beamers start firm and stay firm on the sportier settings, this Benz starts relatively softer and progresses more reasonably. Plus, cornering is responsive and stable, eliminating any weight penalties this car may have. <laughs> I absolutely love this engine. It's smooth, strong, and I'm sad that it and its V8 brethren are going the way of the dinosaurs that feed it. I 
I mean, listen to it. Oh my gosh. It practically sounds like a T-Rex. The multi-clutch transmission is quick too and delivers just the right amount of punch to your back. I love how you can adjust pretty much any parameter too, from the suspension to the transmission to the exhaust individually. So if I wanna cruise in comfort yet still listen to the exhaust, I can. <laughs> or I can calm everything down and enjoy it for the luxury sedan that it is. Now you know the remaining 50% of why I like it so much. So there you have it guys, the redesigned Mercedes AMG E63 S sedan. This is just about the perfect Mercedes for me. Make it a wagon and I'm sold. But first, can someone loan? No, give me a hundred grand. <laughs> I'm good for the other 30. So which would you choose, this sedan or the wagon? Let us know in the comments section below. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss what we have coming up next. I'm Chris from Auto Academics. Thanks for watching.